Bill's offense is explosive. Mm-hmm. But there's a weird off-season rust. Just <laughs> things aren't clicking completely right off the bat. We see the potential in the Bills offense. We see moments. Mm -hmm. But what hurts them is when they don't take care of those opportunities, we just end up controlling the clock on offense because we have a running back out of Alabama. Hey, now. Najee Harris. Hey, now. And our newly formed ground and pound offense. Mm -hmm. Ben hits a dagger at the end on an out route to Claypool, like a a 15-yarder. There's about five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Well, what's up there? Steelers win 28 to 24. Oh, you greasy with it. I like when you yep. talk like that. that that's Jeez. what happens week one. I like when you do that. Yep. Okay. For me, man, I love this matchup for both parties. Um, number one for Buffalo, you get a monster of a team, but you get them early. You get them while they have question marks around the offensive line. While you have they're gonna have question marks in the secondary. That part I Running, like for Buffalo. Rush defense a little bit. Oh, you're talking no, no, about No, no, I'm saying Steelers. I'm just saying like like both parts. I, I'm I'm gonna break it down for okay, you. Okay. So I was saying I like the Bills aspect of it because they get to see a tough team like Pittsburgh, but they're catching Pittsburgh early on in the season before they figured out the full offensive line, right? Because we said, man, we the can see a combination, yeah, like right? Said. We haven't we're, we're this is gonna be the first time really seeing the secondary, the new version of it. So for Buffalo, you're excited about that, right? But then if you're Pittsburgh, you're hyped because number one, you're bringing back a lot of people. When you have a team that is able to bring back the people that they brought back offensively and defensively, typically you're able to start faster. Typically you don't have to deal with the crazy uncertainty of this new guy or Cleveland, for example, having nine potentially new starters on their defense. Like, that's a ton to deal with. Pittsburgh's not going to have to deal with that early on. So even though I think that Buffalo will be the better team, I think that Pittsburgh plays better and gets it done now. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I think they get it done, man. I think they get it done. I think it'll be. We're big underdogs. Yeah, we are. Well, because I think if you look at Buffalo's team, Buffalo's team is legit. Offense, defense, special teams. They drafted well. They have a very complete roster. But it's just something about Pittsburgh. You know, they're weird like that. They get up for these type of games. These type of games where it's big opponents, not named New England, not named Brady. This is the type of team where, oh, man, all the odds stacked up against them. Coach Tomlin thrives from a motivational standpoint. I think of every year I was here, we had some rally cry. 15 pounds of meat. Talked about how oh, this was the year it was, would have been 16. I want to say we went to AFC Championship game. We had lost the four in a row, right? The Cowboys game. And he comes and he's like, yo, we're going to have to be road warriors. We're going to have to go on the road every week and kill. Just like a pack of wild lions, they can't live without getting 15 pounds of meat daily. So every time we went into a stand, that's what we hollering out, 15 pounds, 15, <laughs> like serious. And then I think about the following year. We had the uh, the motivational speaker, uh, E.T. Thomas, right? The guy, you want to breathe harder than you want to live, like, or you want to be successful harder than you want to breathe, like that guy, right? So he came in and spoke to us. And he's like, yo, you got to go 120. It ain't enough to go 100. So everything was 120. One, like every year we had some type of rally cry. And it would get us going in these type of games. So when I think of Coach T, I'm like, bro, they telling y'all y'all got the toughest schedule. You don't think Coach T going to run with that one? Sure. You got the toughest schedule. You starting on the road versus a team that was, whoa, fancy that Super Bowl contenders. You don't think you can get them guys up for that? I just think that's when they get done, man. I, I like that. I like that. that, that Absolutely, kind of goes hand in hand with my prediction. Absolutely, my, man. my little storyline. I'm gonna work on my story in terms of you know score predictions. I'm not there just yet. You know what today's episode was, right? It was brought to you by a, a group, but and actually not a group, the group, the leaders in below the waist grooming. You know, I'm talking. I'm talking about our friends over at Manscaped. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today's episode is brought to you again by Manscaped. Now. Last time we were here talking about Manscaped, we talked about that new lawnmower, that 4.0, because we had the 3.0, right? Yeah. But we talked about the 4.0. You gotta upgrade the blade. I mean, you gotta upgrade yeah. the blade. Not only do you upgrade it, I mean, the light, we said it turns on and off. And they also, for the travelers out there, because like me and you, we travel a lot, especially come the season. They have a travel lock on the on the blade, so that way, you know, TSA can't be playing with your thing, <laughs> trying it out. You never know, man. You, they, get, they get a little antsy sometimes, right? Yeah. So- Shout out to Manscaped for that, man. They actually have a travel lock on this thing as well. I mean, it's an awesome thing, baby. It's awesome. So you definitely want to check out that new Lawnmower 4.0. But you know how we also do this thing, man. We don't talk about anything on this show if we don't have a promo code. For sure. And we have a promo code, ladies and gentlemen. The promo code is MOAT. If you use that promo code, you'll receive up to 20% off plus free shipping. You heard that? 
20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. What are you waiting on? Upgrade your blade. I can assure you, your delicate twins will thank you. But not only your delicate twins, you also, females, y'all can use this as well, man. Trust me on this. It is proven. Plenty of people love it. I love it. I know you talked about it. Use the promo code <laughs> mode so you can get your 20% off plus your free shipping at manscaped.com. <laughs> 